हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड आज हम इस वीडियो के थ्रू पढ़ रहे हैं हिस्ट्री ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोफोरेसिस राइट हिस्ट्री ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोफोरेसिस तो प्रीवियस वीडियो में वी आर कवर इंट्रो पोर्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोफोरेसिस वर्किंग मैकेनिज्म वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोफोरेसिस एंड इट्स बेसिक रिक्वायरमेंट to perform electrophoresis and today we will learn about history of electrophoresis so before starting the lecture few um reminders that app ka link hai description mein telegram channel ka link bhi description mein hai instagram uh, page ka bhi link description mein hai and jo whatsapp support hai uska bhi whatsapp number aapko description box mein milega so description box ja ke ek bari dekh lena ऐप बहुत ज़्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है फॉर ऑल द पीपल हु आर हु ऑल आर प्रिपेयरिंग कोई भी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम इन फॉरेंसिक साइंस या फिर नेट का पेपर इन फॉरेंसिक साइंस ओके सो प्लीज डू चेक आउट आवर ऐप ऑफिशियल ऐप द ओनली फर्स्ट एप्लीकेशन इन फॉरेंसिक साइंस ओके सो हिस्ट्री पढ़ते हैं डिवेलप कप भी सो इलेक्ट्रोफोरेस वॉज फर्स्ट डेवलप इन एटीन हंड्रेड बाय रीसेस Frederick Rees so he was a professor in Moscow State University who noticed that clay particles migrated in water that is subjected to a continuous electric field so this was the first uh, observation which uh, which has been um done by uh, Frederick Frederick Rees so he was the first person in 1807 who noticed that clay particles are migrating under the electric field in water Next in 1934, in 1934 and 1937, apparatus was developed. Apparatus of electrophoresis. That buffer chamber is there. Buffer chamber. Okay. Then uh, gel plate and all that. So everything developed. That is known as Tesselus apparatus, named after the scientist Tesselus. for the analysis of colloidal mixture so this was the again next step for the development of this um analytical technique in 1940 and in 1950 zone electrophoresis zone electrophoresis technique were then introduced and where filter paper they use filter paper capillary tubes uh, and they used these type of things for carrying the mixture for the movement of molecules so we have let's see this is the uh, this is the tank and in this we have a medium it could be a capillary tube it could be a filter paper it could be it could be a gel plate on which we will apply the samples and molecules and these sample molecules will migrate under uniform electric field so this happened in 1940 1950 zone electrophoresis is again the other type of electrophoresis was developed okay in this time period in 1955 we will learn different type of uh, electrophoresis and categories classification of electrophoresis in the next lecture okay so in 1955 in this year olivier introduced agarose gel polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis so in 1955 see in 1955 olivier introduced agarose gel okay so agarose gel bed and polyacrylamide acrylamide gel as a substrate as a as a substrate for the separation of biomolecules so basically the separation technique is for biomolecules so he introduced polyacrylamide gel and agarose gel to um, as a base to differentiate and to perform the separation thing on this uh, base in 1960 al shapario and meisel developed relationship between molecular weight and migration proteins okay so they developed this in 1960 in next in 1975 ferrel and um, jk jk lor developed 2d electrophoresis In 1981, electrophoresis of amino acid was carried out uh, for the two uh, with with the help of two scientists, J. W. Uh, Jorgensen and K. W. Lucas. In 1990, matrix developed for DNA separation at high resolution by B. L. Kager in this group. 
in 2000 many high resolution lithophoresis sorry many high resolution resolution lithophoresis methods have been developed for analytical and preparative measures so this was the timeline and this is uh, the um, your this is your history of development of lithophoresis technique so it started in 19 um 1807 and then 1934 and further it developed and he like this technique is all developed now and again we have different type of electrophoresis for different biomolecules and for different um samples right so this is about your history uh, if you have any doubt please comment your doubt in the comment section and you can reach out to us in any social media and you can reach out to us in our whatsapp support okay so thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great week ahead. Till then, take care. Bye.